Dayton starts now. Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to Living Dayton. I'm Zuri Hall. And I'm Natalie Basha. And guys, we are so excited to be bringing you Dayton's only show devoted to your life and, of course, to this great community. Each day at noon, we will be sharing information on everything from fitness to fashion, saving money to serving up some great tasting dishes. And today, we have a fabulous show planned for you. Mm -hmm. Mayor Gary Leitzel will be joining us. Chef Matthew Hayden from Scratch Catering is here. And how to make your bedroom romantic for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Nice. Now, I got the opportunity to be in Indianapolis for the big game, and there is a ton of stuff going on, and you're going to go behind the scenes. Here are three things that you did not see on the television broadcast last night. A part of all of the Super Bowl events is the NFL experience. It's where NFL fans can check out all things NFL related. You can do the touch pass, they have the combine experience where you can take the quarterback challenge and gears for NFL fans for every team. You got to check it out. Okay, so the crowd is going crazy. DJ Paul E.D. is on right now. Everyone's fist pumping, so am I. And at the Super Bowl Village, they also have a zip lining course that's 800 feet high. Check it out. station in the center of it all where you can eat, drink, socialize. They're even broadcasting live for the entire week leading up to Super Bowl. Pretty cool stuff. I had a good time with oh, my fist pump. I know. I was say, look at you <laughs> taking over Super Bowl City. Yes. Look at that. I mean, was it called Super Bowl City? Super no. Bowl Village. Super Bowl Village. It was a lot of fun. I knew it was something like yeah. that. <laughs> no, I like the fist pumping. That was my favorite part. But I got to say, what would the Super Bowl be without the television ads? Of course. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. What? You got a dog? Yeah, he's a rescue dog. Name's Wego. Wego? What kind of name is that? Call him. Here we go. No. Yep. Here we go. So oh my darn gosh. cute. How adorable is that dog? I love this commercial. And didn't they say he was a rescue? Also, at the end of the commercial, they kind of talk about... Yeah, they, they mentioned in the beginning of the commercial that, you know, they rescued this dog. Yeah, and then yeah. at the end, they did a little shout-out, rescue right. dogs, which I think is great. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was adorable. It was really cute. Uh, pets were heavy for the Super Bowl commercial. Yes, lots of animals on the Super Bowl And I think that we need a Wego. We need a Wego to just I know. Can we get a living Dayton Wego? Wego. Champagne? No. no. No, 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 we, we don't, don't have our own. We gotta train a dog don't. for it. <laughs> another one, uh, another Super Bowl ad. Check this one out. It's halftime in America, too. People are out of work and they're hurting. And they're all wondering what they're gonna do to make a comeback. And we're all scared because this isn't the game. The people of Detroit know a little something about this. They almost lost everything. So a different kind of ad for the Super Bowl. Right. They definitely slowed it down when they played this, you know, during halftime. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it was doing something a little different. It wasn't yeah. the fun, energetic commercial we're used to for Super Bowl ads. But yes. it worked. I think it definitely worked. Yeah. They played it during halftime. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Really great. I mean, he's all right. He's classic. Clint Eastwood is classic. Yeah. But I liked, the, I liked the slower pace. I think it worked. Right, right. I, I mean, think it worked. I think it's very necessary. You know, we are going through hard times. Everyone mm -hmm. is at all times. So the Super Bowl is kind of a getaway from all of that. Yeah. But it's nice to be reminded, you know, yeah. there are some things that are happening, but we're going to get through them. It, it was a refreshing message. I liked that one, but I like this one even more coming up. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is just hilarious. 
<laughs> this is the only the one commercial that made us both that, that's laugh. That's the moment. Out loud. I love it. He's just like in the screen door, like I dare you. I know. And the look, Don't the look on his face, the deadpan, like you didn't see anything. <laughs> it was so funny. And uh, they work on a very tight budget, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, I mean, apparently people are saying that the yeah. budget on this commercial was only twenty dollars compared right. to the other ones, which are. Yeah. Millions of dollars? Right. And ironic to me that that was probably the one that made me laugh the most. I know. <laughs> it was the most clever one. It was, it, it was, it was, it was really, really good. I, I like that one. I need a bag of Doritos after that. <laughs> Apparently anyone can be bought with a bag of Doritos. Now, many of you tuned in to see the big premieres after the Super Bowl last night right here on NBC. The Voice debuted for its second season last night with a big bang. favorite moments from last night uh, when CeeLo Green actually hit Blake the button for it right. him like turned him around and oh, how cool must around. it have been for that artist to see this happening to see these judges flipping out about your all talent four if several times last night all four judges turned, turned around, around yeah. which yeah. doesn't happen very it didn't happen a lot last last right, season right. but it happened a few times last night which is really yeah. exciting i mean it, it definitely shows you the caliber of talent that they are going to be having yeah. when when this show airs it's all, they've already upped the ante with this season right, it's right. great i mean it's going to be a great definitely one and also, looking forward to so it. that was last night but don't forget tonight there's another premiere of a big show smash Ivy's amazing. She's a star. Ivy really will be terrific. They want me to play Marilyn. Well, I mean, not. I'm still auditioning. She's really being a trooper about this. Yo, I don't need a trooper, Tom. Oh, yes. The highly anticipated show starring former American Idol Catherine McPhee, Deborah Messing, and Angelica Houston begins tonight. You can catch the Smash premiere 10 o'clock right here on NBC.